Hello racing fans and welcome to another edition of Race Day Preview. Nine races on the card tomorrow afternoon. The feature event is the Ash Renza Trophy. They go six and a half furlong. And that race will be the ninth and final event, the feature event on the card. Post time 4.50 p.m. and 10 taking part. The first event, they go three furlong straight. The post time for that race is 12 noon, so please make note of the post time for tomorrow's first event, 12 noon, is for 5 year old and up claiming 180 to 150 for native bred, 6 year old and up non of 2, and 6 year old and up maiden, 9 declared. Number 1, Schlesinger was a winner on last, held his speed well, over 3.5 furlong, back down to 3 furlong here, will enjoy this distance, is very fast and will be, be there at the business end. Number three, Awesome Cat is getting fitter and fitter with races and is getting fitter and could pull off a upset tomorrow afternoon with a mere 50 kilo. We have to treat Awesome Cat with a lot of respect in this race. Getting fitter, please make note, Awesome Cat is a dangerous customer come tomorrow afternoon. Number five, Unka Punka is very fast. We haven't seen this one since the 11th of December. Now taking order from Ken San Chung. Note the change of equipment on Unka Punka. The visor is on, the blinkers are off. Marshall Portis in the Sagra Unka Punka is very fast and should be there in the mix when this is decided number nine contractor very fast also was a runaway winner in splits of 24 4 to 7 and 1 being meaning that this horse was finishing up very fast in deep stretch finish up in a one minute one and two fifth of a second this horse level of fitness is right up to a hundred percent and i see ryan darby is keeping this one very sound and very fit and based on his choice of races, Contractor will be very hard to beat, in my opinion. And I'm taking Contractor to open the card to get the better of number five, Unka Punka, number one, Schlesinger, and number three, Awesome Cat. Moving right along, the second event, they go five furlong straight, is made a condition race for native bread, five year old and up, and six taking part. Number one, Gone on the Grill has been looking up on exercise, being by bird identity out of Kiri by Birdstone. This Gone on the Grill will be very difficult to beat come tomorrow afternoon. Number three, Mardelle is running into useful form, was second at 4 to 7 to 1 and last. This penultimate race was fifth by five length in a very competitive race. So Mardella is really looking up at exercise and this horse has to be treated with a lot of respect, even though up a bit in the handicap is getting fit and this horse can be anything. Number four, last Ora was a subject of a nine, five to two gambling last, beaten out of it by Sensational Storm and Mardell. With a better ride now, the choice of, with, with, with now, J Jerome Ennis is still in the saddle. The choice of equipment change, note that the tongue ties on, First time lay six, we expect a better run from last. Hurrah! Number six, Jungle Cat. Will run his honest race, his usual honest race, and should be kept on the right side. But I'm taking the Burn Identity horse. Number one, Gone in the Grill. He's my 10 star banker of the day to get the better of number four, last hurrah, and number three, Mardella. Moving right along to the third event is a restricted allowance five, native bred, five year old and up, not enough two, imported five year and up maiden, and they go seven furlongs. And I see number one, open perseverance is all in this form steadily. We have to treat open perseverance with a lot of respect here. Seven furlong will be ideal for this horse here, and this seven furlong could be the doctor's order. Open perseverance will be very dangerous come tomorrow afternoon. Sixth Avenue was somewhat of a disappointment, and last we see on the 7th of January, coming seven furlong, this horse was second beaten a six length by Slam Solano, and was a length and a half in front of Open Perseverance. So if he show the last race through the window, a, a big change of change of rider now, going to Tevin Foster here, replacing C Forbes, 
So this is a big jockey chain. So 6th Avenue is expected to put in a capital effort. Number three, Pro Johnny, disappointed and last. I tell you, you can throw the last race through the window along with the penultimate race. We see Pro Johnny, something went wrong with him in his last two races, has been tuned to the minute by his trainer, has been working very well, it look as if they have correct the issue that Pro Johnny has had. And this Pro Johnny will be very difficult to beat come tomorrow afternoon. Number six, Magic Bullet, could be there about at the business end. Has been running some decent race since breaking his maiden. Was fourth, beaten a 20 length, was actually third by 12 length at the Fernal Pole by, when beaten by runaway winner Zedai on last. I expect a better run from Magic Bullet and we have to keep Magic Bullet on the right side. But this race, I'm taking number three, Pro Johnny, to get the better of number one, Open Perseverance, number two, Sixth Avenue. The fourth event is a maiden special weight for native bred, three year old, they go six and a half furlong, and we have eight taking part. Number two, the bee's knees, the choice of rider, Trevor Slicer Simpson is in the irons, has been working very well. This horse is by Sovereign Stump, out of awesome sauce by Blue Pepsi Lodge, is fashionably bred. And whenever the green light is given on this horse, you know, this horse will run a good race. Number three, Uncharted, somewhat of a disappointment. After running so well on the 26th of November in that two year world stake with, amongst winners, when being only third, two lengths behind Digit Boss and Mama Mia, has run very poorly based on his that good effort. Now back to six and a half furlong, might be this horse doesn't want eight furlongs his last two races were coming eight furlong might be a trifle too long for this horse back to sprinting six and a half furlong has been working decently coming into this event on charter with a change of equipment will be very difficult to beat come tomorrow afternoon number four robin thunder is quietly getting fitter and fitter with races here getting will actually get this distance very easily here and we have to treat this horse on the right side remember on the 29th of january this horse that carrying 55 kilo was fought beating a six length behind roulette boss and survey girl and this these and along with Phenomenal. So these horses has, is, is good horses. So the company Roaring Thunder is, has been keeping. This horse is a very dangerous candidate come tomorrow afternoon. I think this is the weakest field this horse has ever run with. And Roaring Thunder will be very, very dangerous come tomorrow afternoon. Number five, Burning Valor is by Silent Vanna out of Burning, Burning Clearance by Burning Mark. And this horse is an afternoon other than Sunshine Cat and T. Brady. Has been working very well, has been looking up at exercise. And this horse information is out that this burning value, Valor is coming to run and will be very difficult to beat based on the information I've garnered. Number seven, Mo Aviator. Aviator is a very decent horse by Northern Giant, by Black Magic, by Ghost Ransom. This horse at the Furlong Pole was fifth by five length behind Roulette Boss making his debut. He raced prominent the entire trip. Let us see if Jason um, DeCosta is ready for this horse. This horse is fashionably bred and we have to treat Mo Aviator with a lot of respect. Curling's noon has somewhat of a disappointment. Shutting out coming six and a half furlong could be the doctor's orders. Easy by nuclear is is after no other than nuclear noon. Pip and Fero it is. So this horse six and a half furlong shouldn't be an issue for Curling's noon. And I think Curling Curling's noon will produce his best race come tomorrow afternoon. But in this event. Based on the information I've heard, I'm taking number five, Burning Valor, to come out on top to get the better of number three, Uncharted, number four, Roaring Thunder, and number eight, Curling's Noon. The winner should come from this quartet. Moving right along to the fifth event, they go nine furlong and 25 yards. Is restricted 
allowance for for native bread four and up none is of three imported four and up none of two eight declare number one salute the deputy was a runaway winner on last is up in class the time doesn't inspire confident two minutes four on one fifth of a second we'll have to step up step up considerably to have a chance here number two stomp the rhythm somewhat of a disappointment and last has been reprogrammed by the trainer expect a capital run from stomp the rhythm number four run puncher might find nine furlong 25 yard stretching out and is best left alone while number five sunset silhouette will enjoy this mile pace and this nine of nine furlong 25 yard and will be very difficult to beat come tomorrow afternoon number six the citadel the choice of rider inspire a lot of confidence now 51 kilo in 51 kilo chevron thousand is in the saddle if chevron thousand can regulate the pace with the citadel the right and proper way the citadel will be there in the winner's enclosure number number seven Pelucula, Pelicula is very, very fit, and we have to treat this horse with a lot of respect. Coming out of the high power barn of Richard Azan, and this horse is a danger to all, while number eight, Baby Like, is getting fitter and fitter with races. We see on the 17th of December, coming seven and a half, and this horse is a runaway winner in one minute 30. Five and three fifth of a second beating GT Boy and Don Da Vinci. I think nine furlong, 25 yard won't pro pose a problem to be like based on the run coming nine and a half furlong on the 3rd of December. So this baby like coming out of the high power camp of Philip Fiani, the Maestro, we have to keep this horse on the right side. But in this event, I'm taking number six, the Citadel, to create a mild upset to get the better of number five, Sunset Silhouette, number two, Stump the Rhythm, and number eight, Babe Like. Moving right along, the sixth event is a restricted allowance five for native bread, five year old and up, not enough two imported, four year old and up, may and maidens, and we have ten declare. They go seven and a half furlong. Number one, a surety ran fourth by eight and a quarter length, up in grade, coming nine twenty five yard, will have it hard harder year up in class, and will have its hand full against these. Four fiver seems to be a nice horse. This horse was second by beating a four length, even though the time wasn't much to write home about. And but the level of fitness, this four fiver will enjoy seven and a half furlong, and we have to treat this horse with, with a lot of respect. Number four, Lion of Ekaki, run a very poor race on last. Something must have gone wrong. We have to show that last run out the window. And this, if you show the last run out the window, this horse with the tongue tie on. As a glorious chance of being unsaddled in the winner's enclosure. Number five, Tigre Express. Expect a good run from this horse. This horse has been looking up at exercise. We see this horse canter out of the shoot eight furlong in 141 and two. I am not sizing up with this time, but you have to be very careful. The, um, this could be a misprint. Eight furlong, if this is the time. Eight furlong in 141 and 2, this horse would be a runaway winner. But I'm not convinced with this time, and I'm I'm take I'm thinking this might be a typo error here. Number six in the valley. Information is out that this horse is coming to run, and that we have to keep this horse on the right side. So based on the information I've garnered, number six in the valley is the information horse. And this Innovade will be a dangerous customer come tomorrow afternoon. Number seven, Slam, run a decent race on last, race prominent for most of the way. They call for Trevor Sice or Simpson, that is a plus. We have to keep Slam on the right side. Number nine, 31 kisses, somewhat of a disappointment. The blinkers are off now, could be the doctor's order. Seven and a half furlong, I think this 31 kisses. Most of these horses coming up in grade, coming. Coming up in grade 31 kisses has been in this grade for quite a while slumming here and this 31 kisses will be very difficult to beat. But I'm taking number 9, 31 kisses on the Delroy Biari to get the better of number 6, the information horse in the valley, number 2, 4, 5 and number 7, slam. Moving right along, the 7th event. 
They go six and a half furlong. Restricted steak for imported three year old and up, not enough three for native bread three year old and up and four year old and non winner of four. We see six taking part. Number one, the disappointed fly messenger fly, best left alone in this company. Number two, Mama Mia will set off in front and prove very difficult to beat. Rejected Raja was second in a very slow time of one minute nine and three behind the Philip Fiana train, fly Blue Jay. So based on the time, I'm not inspired. It's not very, I'm not taking side with rejected Raja. Number four, Fred the Great after run, a runaway victory in one minute 13 and three of a, of a second, misses the break on last, was seen running on in deep stretch, third by two lengths behind 16 treasure and Luxol, six and a half furlong, could be the doctor's order. This colt by Adios Charlie, by Joyance, by Pulpit, will be very difficult to beat, and is my firm selection to grab the front running Mama Mia. Number six, take a punt, somewhat of a disappointment. Join on the outside, will pick up a piece of this action. But I'm taking number four, Fred the Great, the five-star banker to get the better of number two, Mamma Mia, and number six, take a punt. Jason Acosta is responsible for this race. The eighth event is a restricted allowance four for native bread, five year old up, none enough three, imported five year old up, none enough two, eight, Taking part, they go a mile. Number one, always vigorous, 56.5 kilo. Coming a mile. Whosoever beat always vigorous will win this event. He is another banker on the program. Always vigorous, to me, looked like a 10 star banker based on the handicaps. Number two, the cat be the glory, the blinkers are on now. I have never seen the source race with the blinker. Chances are the source has been working with the blinkers. I have not even seen that an exercise track. Why the choice of the blinkers, I don't know. Kawai, Kawas Jenkins in the saddle to cat be the glory could be there about at the business end. Number three, Slam Solana will be biting off more than he can chew. Number four, traditional boy. Expect a good run now from traditional boy. The level of competition has decreased, so traditional boy could be there about at the business end. Number five, genealogy was a runaway winner in a very slow time of 147 and three. That time was so slow that if I had put on my tights and put on my spikes and run in that race, I certainly know I will won that I would have won that race very, very comfortably. Number six, Maya, very dangerous con contender here, getting fitter and fitter in races. Misses the break and last, coming seven furlong, was beaten third by five and a quarter length and last. Now, coming a mile, we'd enjoy the mile better. They call for Tevin Foster to do duty, a stronger rider, Maya should become running on. Number six, the good life, will run his honest race. But I think this horse is getting fitter and fitter in races. But I think might find a mile out of his reach while dancing in the breeze. One was a winner on last. We'll have it all to do here and his best left alone. But I'm taking the number one, always vigorous. The, the 10 star banker, the handicap horse. Whosoever beat always vigorous will certainly win this race. And if always vigorous loses this race, all fish will leave sea come tomorrow afternoon. So we will have a lot of fish for the Easter. Always vigorous is my 10 star banker to get the better of number six, Maya, and number four, traditional boy. The ninth and final event is the Ash Wednesday Trophy. They go six and a half furlong. And we have 10 declare. Number one, Emperor of the Cat. Very light, 50 kilo. One minute, seven and one fifth of a second on exercise track. Was beaten a fourth by four length with 56 kilo. A mere 50 kilo. The tongue tie off, the figure eight is off. This Emperor of the Cat will be very difficult to be come tomorrow afternoon. El Professor at age eight with 57 kilo. We'll have it all to do here. Why number three, Money Monster, 
was third by sixth length behind I Have Got Magic and Blue Vinyl on the 11th of December. This money monster now. And that day, he towed what, 57 kilo. With a mere 52 kilo, expect a good run from Money Monster. And we have to keep this horse on the right side. Number five, race car, somewhat of a disappointment. Information is out that this horse is playing with a little bit of unsoundness. Let us see if Mr. Chung can bring this horse into good racing condition. Because if the right race car turn up, he will basically bury this field. Number seven, Ed, the Ed Cornerstones is a disappointing animal, best left alone. While number seven, Eagle One, a mere 54 kilo, down three kilo, called for Robert Allardyne, six and a half furlong is what the doctors order. Eagle One will be very competitive come tomorrow afternoon. Number eight, Big Big Daddy is very fit and have to be treated with a lot of respect. While number nine, Sistine Treasure is shown against the lion, let us see if she will run. She's talented and she's expected to be there about at the business end without actually winning. While number 10, Nuclear Noon, is so fit as Anne can make him. Won't find six and a half furlong out of his reach. And please remember this Nuclear Noon was second in the 2000 Guinness, 2000 Guinness two years ago. So we have to treat Nuclear Noon with a lot of respect. John on the outside, Tevin Foster is in the center. Nuclear Noon could track them and beat them up the lane. But for me, I'm taking number one, the Handicap Horse, Emperor of the Cat, to get the better of number three, Money Monster, number seven, Eagle One, and number five, Race Car. So there you have it, folks. Race Day Preview. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever the contents of race day preview is put up you will be notified so remember people like share and subscribe and i'm asking you please to like press the like button whenever time you're listening to this before you even start to listen please remember to press the like button without without pressing the like button yeah i mean you know when you press the like button you will actually give support to the youtube channel i need your support so please remember to press the like button and leave a comment in the comment section and please remember again i'm asking you press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped you will be notified thank you very much and enjoy your holiday your ash Wednesday holiday and best of luck now and happy hunting